and in Yeah, okay, 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 we'll switch it. That's good. <laughs> Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Audrey. I do lifestyle content on YouTube, I do all sorts of vlogs, travel vlog, weekend vlog, everything related to my life and lifestyle content. And I also do hauls if you're interested in that. And um, if you're also interested in the subject of this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up. I have my shit together but do I have my shit together <laughs> that's a complete other question this is not a video about men at all please it's not a video about how to get a man or how to get a rich man or whatever it's just a video about how to get the best reaction possible out of the world from you so the subject of this video how to look and stay put together this is something that I get asked quite often a lot of my friends always ask me Audrey how do you always look so put together I'm always dressed exactly for the occasion where I'm going and I always look like I have my life put together anyway that's not always a reality that's for sure I don't my life is not perfect at all and the goal of this video is not to make us all robot and to make us all the same thing not at all it's just a little bit of tips and tricks on how to always you know look your best let's start with the definition of what i mean by staying put together and what i mean by looking put together to me that's more than just your clothing it's also about your attitude how you present yourself how you uh, approach people how you look when you're outside how you walk how you talk how your hands move all of that but also mainly for this video what you wear so you guys are probably asking yourself why do i need to be put together why do i always need to look like i have my life together when i actually don't that's a great question <laughs> i think the reason why it's important to look put together is we all know about pretty privilege we all know about how people treat you based on how you look and unfortunately we live in this world where people care a lot whether they would like to admit it or not but everybody judges people based on what they look like because when you don't know someone and you see them at first value you have to be able to assess what they are who they are and you kind of make assumptions based on that and sometimes that can influence also how you treat people and why it's important to stay and be put together is you want basically the best treatment possible in this world uh, at the end of the day everybody wants to be treated with respect everybody wants to be complimented everybody wants to be looked at when they walk in the street everybody wants to feel the attention on them when they walk in the room not everybody wants that but positive attention anyway everybody wants that so that's why it's important to stay and look put together and how to do that how to do that is what we're going to get into next how to be and how to look put together i think the first thing is your attitude how you present in the world are you always walking around with a face like this of course if you're at work actually that's perfect do that <laughs> If you're at work, especially if you're in a very competitive environment and you're a woman and you need to assert yourself, definitely you have that attitude. But it's also about time and place. So that attitude that you have at work, you can't have it, for example, when you're at an event, uh, when you're with your friends. At the grocery store, you're walking around, you know, just have a little bit of a smile, just, you know, look happy, <laughs> I guess. Um, that's the first thing and the second thing is as I mentioned earlier time and place you won't be able to wear the same thing uh, to the grocery store as you wear to work or don't wear what you wear at the club to work don't wear you know and I know it seems a bit extreme when I say it like this and I see it, it seems quite obvious but I see it often, I don't think it's that obvious. Sometimes people don't know what to wear where. 
where, where. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes it's about the time and place and what you're able to wear at an event. But we'll see later on in the video. I'll show you guys a few examples of outfits that you can wear for a formal event, for work, for example. If you're going to dinner with a certain type of men, even though I said this video is not about getting men, but if you go with a certain type of men, you have to wear certain type of things, all of that. But we'll get into that later on in the video. I'll really show you examples of outfit to wear, 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 wear. <laughs> anyway, how to be put together at the office. I think that's where we'll start uh, with the examples of the outfit. I'll show you guys a few outfits here uh, that you can wear at the office, you know, something not too sexy but at the same time something that shows that you're a woman i think a lot of women make the mistake of thinking that it's best for them to completely cover up and to look like almost boyish at work to not attract male attention but i feel like that kind of backfires most of the time and men i don't know they have this thing in their head where it, you know they assess the value of a person like just like that i feel like women take more of the time to get to know a person but maybe that's just my personal assumptions for women sometimes at work you need to be wearing something feminine but professional not something masculine and then we'll see what to wear at events formal events like uh, if you have for example a work party we're approaching the the season of work parties and christmas parties and and all of that so what to wear at a Christmas party what's appropriate to wear at a Christmas party um, what to wear uh, at the grocery store for example if you're just trying to you know you're just trying to run some errands some casual outfit that will still you know make you look put together I don't like to use the word classy because mm, but you know looking your best even though you if you're not wearing any makeup just tie your hair back like I did right now you know right now I'm wearing my pajamas at home granted I have a full face of makeup right now but even if I didn't have the full face of makeup I feel like I would look put together but for at home same thing with the running errands put together and also one of my tips and tricks to be put together is wear perfume smell good a lot of people always compliment me on how i smell good uber drivers when i go to the grocery store when i run my errands people always compliment me at work they're like it's so nice when you come in and you know that it just fills up the room and it smells so good so, so let's get into the next part of the video where i show you guys the examples of outfit to wear at all these different places Another tip I actually forgot about being put together is your posture and look at myself in the entire video I was like crouching like this your posture is very very important because when somebody's looking like this sitting straight like this and they're talking to you they're looking at you right in the eye and they're paying attention to what you're saying they look you know they look like they're about something they look like they have the right attitude they look like confident and yeah whereas when you're sitting like this you know and you're crouching down and you just your body language says "Ooh, I need to protect myself Ooh, I'm insecure so you know sit up straight I really want to mention also that this video is not about getting a man it's not about getting a man at all it's about getting the best treatment possible from the world so it's not about getting a man or a rich man or whatever but can these tips be used to get a man yes <laughs> it can but will it guarantee you to get a man no but will it guarantee you that you know you will notice I, I noticed it personally that when I use these tips and tricks the treatment that I get from people is very very different granted I don't meet the same people every time I go outside but when I started you know sitting up straight wearing perfume making sure my hair is nice making sure my outfit is nice making sure that everything is tailored that everything fits well people just you know it's like when you see something nice it just catches your eye that's exactly what you want people 
to react when they see you okay guys so for this portion of the video i'm going to show you uh, a few outfit examples for each of the places that we talked about earlier i think i'm going to start with the office i'm going to insert right here the pictures that i'm looking at on my ipad <laughs> as an example of what to wear at the office or another place so here the first picture is this one um right here this is definitely something i would wear to the office i know that a lot of people's offices are a lot stricter than mine mine is strict but it's not that strict so it's this is definitely something i would wear to the office it's a bodycon dress it's to my knees i love the way my hair looked here i was wearing my natural hair so perfect little purse all matching outfit great for the office it's feminine it says i'm a woman but i also am a respectable woman with confidence <laughs> so now let's go on to the next outfit so this outfit i actually wore to brunch but i think that's definitely something you could also wear to the office especially my type of office the the, the dress i'm wearing right now it's not short but it's not knee length it's like just right above your knee and i was wearing that with the blazer and the boots and yeah i once again love my natural hair i think this is definitely office appropriate now let's move on to the next outfit this outfit might not be a office it's actually not office appropriate for me but i just wanted to put it here because i think it's a full it's a full suit here i'm wearing it in a bit of a scandalous way i just wore a bra inside because i was just going to dinner and i wanted to be a little bit uh more risque uh so that's what i chose to wear but if i was wearing this to the office i would just wear a black t-shirt inside or like a, maybe a blouse or something a white blouse no a black blouse or something so definitely you can wear this to the office Fist, it, it fits right and I love the colorway it's also professional but yet the cut is very feminine of the blazer so yeah that's it for this outfit now let's move on to another office outfit once again my office is pretty chill on this I know I'm wearing shorts on this outfit but I'm also wearing tights under it with boots and a blazer that's the same blazer I was wearing on the other picture I'm wearing shorts but you no know, I'm wearing a scarf which also covers my neck which lets me be able to get away with a little bit more leg showing and yeah I think a blazer honestly you could throw a blazer over pretty much anything and you would look put together <laughs> Blazers are basically a trick to looking put together. You just have to throw on one and you're good to go <laughs> Let's move on now to the next this outfit. I would definitely wear to the office. I love the belt I was wearing a white blouse. That's like really really long. It's from Zara So it, it fits like a dress on me and then I put a blazer on top and then I put, put this belt You can't see my breast at all. It's long enough Plus I also had tights under it and knee-high boots You can't see completely the outfit because the pictures I took I took them sitting down, but Really put together. This is a very versatile outfit. You could wear it at the office. You could wear it at a at a work event at a 5 à 7 comme on dit chez nous les Québécois. <laughs> you could wear it, yeah, pretty much anywhere. This is a fire outfit. And uh, the last outfit here I have for the office is this one. Uh, again, here you can see a little part of my midriff, but I do think if you're not comfortable with that, you could just wear a sweater that's not cropped. But for me, I love a good crop sweater, so that's what I chose here. And again, that's why I didn't want to use the word classy in this video. Not so much because I really want to put the emphasis on being looking put together, not looking classy, because sometimes classy can be misconstrued with like a modesty. You know but i'm not modest at all this is not a modesty video it's just you know you could just make this outfit more modest and fit it to your liking and just put a longer shirt or like for the other outfit instead of wearing shorts you could wear like pants instead you know? um so that's it for the outfit i wear oh no i have a last one 
this one this one is like a casual fun outfit to wear to work i was wearing my lululemon leggings but i was wearing a long enough blazer so that you know it covers my butt uh i was wearing my uggs shoe which can be considered quite casual but again my outfit is a little bit more casual so i was able to get away with this outfit but if not to be honest you could wear trainers and a lot of if offices are chill on fridays this could be a cool you know friday chill outfit and again i put a blazer on top nobody looks at the rest of the outfit as long as i have the blazer on i look put together so that's it for the office outfit i'm gonna put, because office it's very specific but all the other places it's not as specific so i'm just going to show you what i wear and what where i wear it for what event i wear it for anyway hopefully that makes sense <laughs> this outfit i love it you guys loved this outfit on my instagram i made a reel and i had a ton of views and it was a get dressed with me uh love the white blazer it's a bit more revealing for work but this is something you could wear to brunch this is something you could wear to church even in my opinion anyway you could wear this to dinner you could wear this to pretty much anything honestly love this one this one the mini skirt this is something i was wearing i was going to a concert so definitely more on the edgy side but i was fitting right in and that's what's really important about being put together is that you kind of have to fit the vibe and the aesthetic of where you're going so keep that in mind and next outfit this is when i was in north carolina or in chicago i don't know and i was going to dinner the corset is from shein the pants are from shein i do not shop from shein anymore but <laughs> it's still a good outfit and i think i looked perfect and i was meeting up with a man for dinner you know so definitely on the sexier side and this one i was going to the burj al arab in dubai we were just visiting the hotel and you know seeing what rich people are up to <laughs> and this is what i wore just a sundress really cute fit exactly the vibe i had a straw bag my little sandals and my oversized sunglasses Mwah, chef's kiss then next outfit i also wore this this was a day i wasn't feeling too 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 good but we were going to the dubai mall to shop and this is what i wore i just wore this two-piece set it's from pink plastic babes and yeah it was comfortable oh one outfit that i really want to show you is when we went to the mosque in dubai and in the mosque you know i'm not muslim person myself but i definitely want to respect where i'm going and once again it's very important when you want to be put together to go and fit the vibe and the aesthetic and the values and you know respect the place where you're going so this is an outfit i love this i purchased it at dubai souk i think and yeah i made sure that they that my face was giving because when you wear something that's completely covered up like this outfit you know you you're kind of hiding all your feminine assets and being more modest so like when it comes to the face you know the face gotta be beat the face gotta be perfect and that day i swear to god everybody was offering my dad <laughs> money to marry me you know <laughs> That's what happens when you put together guys, you know, you attract the eyes, you attract all eyes. So yeah, next outfit, this dress I wore to dinner, I was going to a concert, a candlelight concert, right here in Montreal, and I wore this blue dress with this Vivian Westwood necklace and my earrings, and I just think it fit, again, fits the vibe at perfection. Oh, let's go on, on the more the more casual side uh, this is for example outfit that I wore in um, just going to run some errands it's not to everybody's taste and once again I'm not trying to be classy guys I'm not trying to be classy but I was just go running my errands I was feeling you know fit that day I felt like wearing a crop top but I was also feeling like being comfortable and casual so I wore this outfit and I got a ton of compliments on it and it wasn't even like you know it was i didn't even try that hard so yeah sometimes you can just 
wear joggers and still look put together put together and jogging they sometimes go together sometimes and um here oh yeah that's where i went to a walk in the park you know it's fall right now with the leaves and everything so cute again i'm wearing my uggs this jumpsuit and this white cardigan oh lastly lastly i know some people will like to wear a bit more risky things go to go out to the bars go out for drinks go out to the club i'm gonna show you a few examples of what i wore to that so this is what i wore uh for drinks uh, we were going to this popular Saint Cassette in Montreal. It's called Katkar. It's where basically where a lot of nine to five people go, and on Thursday it's like a big event anyway. So I went there, wore this, and let me tell you something. You couldn't miss me. <laughs> you couldn't miss me. Anyway, that's what I wore. And one time I was going to the club, uh, you know, with a few friends, and I wore this jumpsuit from Manière de Boire. It's a bit see through, it's a bit more on the ratchet side. But in my opinion, for the place where I was going, <laughs> baby, I was putting it together. I was definitely putting it together. So, yeah, sometimes it's not, you know, always classy, classy turtleneck, you know. You can be versatile, you can wear a full covered up outfit one day and then the next day you know you wear a jumpsuit that's see through and we see a little bit of utilities and you're still what? Put together, yes. Okay, so I think that is all I have to show you guys today. We made it to the end. To the end. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for the outfit examples uh, Thank you guys so much for getting to the end of this video Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thumbs up the video Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye